This video is brought to you by Electronic Arts and EA Game Changers. Thank you so much for the early release copy of Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Hey guys, welcome to the channel and this is my sim self and I'm about to make my sim cat. <laughs> uh, this is a create a pet. I wasn't going to do an overview on the create a pet process because I'm sure a ton of people have already. So I thought it would be fun to create my kitty in The Sims and I was super excited to do so um, because I know how powerful create a pet is. I know how much customization you can do. So I was super excited um, to do exactly you know, what the markings look like on my cat. So my cat's name is Razum Dar, and I'll go ahead and throw up a picture of him on the screen now so you can see what he looks like. And, you know, you can tell me if I did a really good job or not um, in capturing his little kitty essence. Uh, but basically, we adopted him uh, three years ago when we still lived in Florida. And, um, he was about seven months. He wasn't quite a year yet. He was still a, a baby, pretty much. But I don't really know, like, what happened to him in his, his past. Or, you know, if he was a stray or if he was just given up. I don't really know any of that. Uh, but we did have some problems when we adopted him. Um, both health-wise and just in temperament and... Uh, he was very wild and he was very mischievous when he was a kitten. Um, I think all kittens kind of are though. That's just, you know, the kitten territory, the thing you sign up for when you get a kitten. But it also didn't help that, you know, at the time, both me and my husband were working so much. So we weren't really able to give him as much, uh, as much attention as he probably needed at the time. Um, but when we first got him and the, I don't know, like the week or two after we adopted him, he got really sick. Uh, it was really sad. And we went to the vet a few times and, um, he apparently had like a kennel cold or a kennel cough. Um, you know, that happens sometimes when you adopt. So... We, we weren't really prepared for that, you know? We just thought, oh, we'll bring this cute kitty back home. It'll be great. Um, but no. <laughs> I mean, it, it's been awesome having him. Uh, he's moved like three times with us. And he's the most affectionate little thing ever. I've never like seen a cat be as affectionate as he is. Um, he's constantly headbutting, constantly purring and licking you and just he's very friendly like to other cats and to other people that he may come in contact with. He's just a sweetheart and I love him so much. Um, but his name's Razum Dar and that's because um, my husband and I used to play this uh, MMO called Elder Scrolls Online. If you don't know what that is, it's like a multiplayer online game that um, had this race of Khajiit, which they're kind of like cat people, I guess. But there is this one um, Khajiit called Razum Dar. He's like the scout or second in command for the Elven Queen. Uh, nerdy, I know. <laughs> but um, he's like really mischievous and kind of a jokester. Uh, so we felt like his character really represented, um, you know, Roz, our cat. We call him Roz for short. It's just easier, especially when, you know, someone asks like, oh, what's his name at the vet or someone else? You're like, oh, it's Roz. It's a lot easier than explaining um, all the backstory and whatnot. <laughs> um, but, oh, I loved this whole create a pet process just layering color and texture and uh, being able to uh, kind of you know create the pattern and the exact um, markings that are on my cat 
in Create a Sim, and it was literally like messing around with Photoshop almost. Uh, there's so many different brushes and stencils and tools, and I was so happy to be able to uh, do this and um, create him in The Sims. It's always been a dream of mine, and I'm so excited and um, just like I'm I'm floored by create a pet honestly if we could somehow get the color wheel in cast or for furniture items i would i would just die <laughs> so my cat uh he has he's mostly um he's mostly brown with like really dark brown or black stripes and little dots um but a lot of his like belly and face are white so that's why I started with a white cat um, to begin with uh, because I figured it would just be easier to start out that way instead of trying to add the white first um, but here I am using the stencil feature on create a pet which is super handy um, especially if you don't want to you know use the stamps or draw the stripes yourself it really makes it a lot easier to create pretty um, I guess average markings that most cats would have and of course you can you know go back and customize it to your liking um, but I was so excited about this like making him a little bit chubby because he is a little bit chubby and uh, he has a little marking on his belly which kind of connects the two brown um, like the two brown areas of his back and oh it, it was so much fun kind of therapeutic too like you could probably spend all day or all night and create a pet and just be happy with that honestly i would say that this pack if you're not a builder if you know you just love making sims and maybe you don't even really do gameplay all that much like i would literally say that create a pet is worth it um, like this pack is worth getting just for create a pet. Like I'm, I'm that sold on it. <laughs> Another favorite thing of mine is to make the little paws pink. I was so ecstatic about being able to do that. So, um, yeah, I was so happy about that. One thing I did notice that's a little weird is depending on the position or the pose that they're in so that you can paint them. Sometimes there will be gaps in like where their legs are or, you know, where their behind is or like some areas of their um, front legs will be kind of weird. Like almost like you missed a spot when you were painting because they were covered obviously in certain positions. So when you're creating your pets, make sure that um, you know, you have them in different positions like standing, um, standing on their two back paws, laying down, or just, you know, standing on all fours. Make sure you cycle through those and, you know, get all the areas that you might have missed. Because that happened to me too, and I was like, what? Why? How did I miss that? Um, so, yeah, that's that would be my advice to you guys. And also... Um, I would advise to play with opacity when you're trying to layer color and stuff like that because um, I would say that unless you really want a harsh line, um, then, you know, go all the way up on the opacity slider. But uh, I found that it was a lot easier to work with if I just kept it at a low opacity and just kind of layered it on my own. Uh, I felt like it looked a lot more natural that way. So that would be another uh, little tidbit of advice I would give to you guys um, for your pets. As you can see here, I was coloring in the weird triangles that I had left. And there's one in his leg too that I saw. Um... But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's pretty much this, uh, my create a pet of my cat. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait until, 
Uh, I can create more pets and play, you know, the actual gameplay with the pets. I think the entire pack is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm not just uh, saying that. I truly think that. And, um, you know, as a whole, like for build and buy, create a pet, create a sim, um, the gameplay, I think it's a really amazing pack. And by the way, guys, I'm going to be having a stream today, uh, which is November 10th at 2.30 p.m. Central. I do have some codes to give away, so make sure you stop by there. But otherwise, I'll have another giveaway on YouTube if you can't make it to the stream, which I'm very excited about. And uh, I'll provide more info on that on my Twitter, uh, my Twitter account. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.